Let's try this again. <laughs> this is what really happens, okay? I'm sick, I'm out of it, and then I was talking it. I don't think I was taking deep breaths because I was talking so fast and I started getting dizzy, but it's because I'm really sick right now. So I'm gonna try to take it a little bit slow in this video. I hope you guys don't mind. It's an empties in a haul, so some of the empties are rolled over from previous months, some were within the month of January. The haul though is all of the stuff that I have purchased this month of February so far, although I am waiting for one more polish actually to come in the mail. It's taken weeks for me to receive that one polish, man. I received my order a good two weeks ago and I'm still waiting for that polish. It's supposed to be arriving today, but I wanted to get this video recorded because I've been holding on to some of this trash. I didn't keep all of my trash, only the stuff that I wanted to talk about. So I'll start off with these guys here. This is from Cutex. This is the nail polish remover strength shield with vitamin E and B5 and hydrolyzed silk. I've mentioned these guys before. This stuff is awesome. I really like it. It performs kind of like 100% acetone, but without it being abrasive. So it leaves my nails feeling and looking moisturized, which I, I love so much. If you are familiar with the up and up, this guy here, the strengthening nail polish remover, this guy here is super, super gentle on the nails. So which I I really do like, but I feel like it takes me forever and for me to go through a lot of cotton cotton balls to <laughs> remove my polish. I mean, I'll use at least 10, 12 cotton balls to, to get the stuff to remove my polish. And I'm not talking a glitter polish, I'm talking just a cream. So it's good in a sense that it's really gentle, but this is gentle also like this right here and it leaves them moisturized like this guy here but this does a much better job at removing my polish the only issue I have with this is that I, I go through it really quickly I only kept three bottles which I don't know why I kept three bottles I could have easily kept one but I tossed quite a few of the other bottles that I had I think I had three or four more bottles of this but the only issue that I have with this guy is that the only size that I can find at Walmart is this this size right here which is 6.7 ounces and I wish they had a larger size but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check online to see if they have a larger size available this guy is from onyx professionals i've mentioned this guy quite a few times this is 100 acetone super harsh on the nail so i don't go through this quite as fast as the one from cutex number one this is larger number two i don't use it as much uh solely use this mainly for glitter polishes or my pedicures maybe but not so much for my hands so this guy has been an empty for quite a few months actually and this guy here is the one that i have in use so usually when i buy these at walmart i tend to get two at a time so i need to go back and buy one more to keep one as a backup from neutrogena this is the makeup removing cleansing towelettes i love this stuff i have tried quite a few of the other towelettes if you guys have any favorites let me know down below because i've tried the i think it's the walmart brand i think i've tried does up and up have a, a brand or Target have a brand, I'm not sure, but I've tried the Olay ones, a couple of the other brands, and I don't like them quite as much as this guy. It actually reminds me, the Clinique Cleansing Ball Balm, I'll go in with that first, and then I'll go in with this guy and remove my makeup, and then I'll go in with the Cleansing Balm again, or the second cleansing oil that I use, and then I'll rinse that towelette out, and then clean again. And what I like about it is that it never rips on me. It always works really well and one little towel i can use it you know keep rinsing it out and keep using it multiple times without it falling apart on me so really like this stuff from cvs i have the beauty 360 this is the extra large premium cotton ovals i love these these come with a double side um so it comes with the soft and the strong texture or whatever so one side is a little bit more rough the other side is more smooth but what I love about these is that they don't leave the fussies on my nails when I remove my polish that's number one number two these are huge they're massive so one cotton oval will cover both my hands depending on the nail polish recently though I have been using them to apply my toner on my face so what I'll do is I'll cut these in half because they're too large for my face to just do the toner and stuff I find it to be wasteful so been using these guys I did recently buy some other ovals but I'll share those it's from a different brand I'll share them in a moment the two setting sprays that I have here the Urban Decay All Nighter I haven't been using 
setting spray I want to say in the better part of six months or something like that because when it starts getting cold I don't find the need for it usually this guy I tend to reserve for the summer so this has been an empty for for a little bit now but this is one that I will repurchase I have repurchased it before and I will repurchase it again before summer comes because I tend to find these like setting sprays to work better for me in the summer not so much the winter I don't feel like I need it this guy is from Physicians Formula. This is the Insta Ready Setting Spray. I found that this guy made me oily. Funny enough, because right now in the winter, although I'm combo, combo oily, I don't get as oily, and I feel like this guy makes me more oily. I didn't mind the little spritzer. It, it wasn't a super fine mist, but it wasn't spitting in my face, but it's not something that I would buy again. I think this was a little bit pricey, actually. And Physicians Formula tends to be a little pricey, so I don't think I'll buy this guy again. I would like to repurchase the MAC Fix Plus. And there's one from Milani, I want to say, but I want to say that one's a little bit pricey, too. All right, let me talk about some candles because... Oh, actually, let me talk about this guy. The Tatcha Camellia... One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. I love this stuff. I babied it till I couldn't. I mean... I pumped it out until I couldn't pump it out anymore. This was fantastic, super gentle on my skin. My skin felt super lush every time I put this on and used it to cleanse. This guy is the one that I'll use for my second cleanse, so usually I'll go in with the Clinique cleansing balm first and then I'll use this guy and I'll leave it on my skin for a good, I don't know, couple of minutes. And then in the morning, I'll only do one cleanse. I won't do two cleanses. Um, in the morning, what I'll do is I'll only go with one of these cleansing oils. And it feels so nice. I love this stuff. I bought a new, a different cleansing oil from a different brand. But I, I kind of like this one better, to be honest. The two mascaras that I've been loving and I finished off are these two. This is the Last Sensational Curvitude. I love this stuff. Lengthening, separation, I love it. The only thing I have found is that this dries out really fast on me. But, so I can use it for a straight month. It won't last me quite a few months. It'll last me a good month. But towards the end, it's kind of difficult to apply and wiggle in through the lashes because it's so dried out. But it's so good and I love the, the wand. I do have to be a little careful with it because it's kind of flexible. And I'm very clumsy with mascara, so I usually tend to either poke my eye out with this guy or I tend to get the mascara everywhere. Sorry, my nose is so itchy right now. Alright, so this guy is amazing. I already have another one in use, actually. Did I bring it out? Yeah, I have it here to share it with the haul. I'll go in with the Lash Sensational one first, and then I'll go in with this guy. And this guy, I tend to concentrate it closer to the root of my lashes to add that thickening look to the root of the lashes so awesome this little brush by the way although flexible really does an awesome job at really wiggle it if you wiggle it into your lashes it does a really amazing job at separating i, I freaking love these two together are just they're made to be used together they're so awesome and sometimes when i don't want to do like intense lashes i'll just go in with this guy right here and just completely fine two nail glues here beauty secrets not a favorite of mine i tend to use these guys when i break a nail and i want to kind of repair it and stuff like that i didn't find that the beauty secret one worked very well for me but this guy did this is the kiss maximum nail glue i already have one in it's not in use but i bought it where is it it's right here I think I mentioned it in a video already, but this guy right here, I just haven't found the need for it recently, so it's not opened yet, but finished this guy out. It works really well. It really holds on to my nail for a good two weeks, and sometimes I may need to go in and put it in again, but it's... I don't know. I can. It helps me hold on to my nail for a good week to two weeks until, like, you know, for to wait for it to grow out and stuff like that. So it's really, really good. That one's from Kiss, by the way. I have some candles, which is a shocker because I'm not a candle person, but recently I have been. I do, though, tend to buy most of the times the candles from Target. These are the soy candles. They're the scented soy candles. This is the signature signature soy. I think that's the brand. I usually tend to buy the pink one. I think it's a rose scented one. Oh my god, it's 
smells so good and what i like about these is because they're soy based and i have allergies these are very sensitive to me so i don't get itchy nose itchy ears itchy eyes none of that not i've tried numerous of their scents and they all worked really well and it tends to burn pretty far down so it's just really really nice you see that so really like these guys quite a bit i have two here these are from bath and body works this one was the bath and body works champagne toast i went back to try to um get one of these and i think this yeah this was a holiday scent oh my god i love this i would burn this pretty much the entire year because it smells soft and very feminine i love this i burned this in my living room and my dining room area it was really nice i don't know how to describe scents, so i should have looked up the descriptions for that this guy here i bought another one of because i was able to find it but i think it was the intense scent i think it was high intense or something like that but it's the same one the mahogany teak wood this one smells like cologne it's very masculine scent and i love it my husband actually loved it too but i didn't i hadn't bought bath and body works candles in a really long time and i didn't realize how how much of it is still left over the wick burns out way before it can get to the bot towards the bottom of the candle which is kind of disappointing and the only reason why i've bought them recently is because they had this ongoing sale which i think ten dollars off the three wick candles and stuff so that's why i bought i've been buying a couple at a time i have this one burning in my living dining room area and actually i have this guy burning here i have this guy burning in my bedroom this guy is the lavender vanilla it smells like vanilla more than lavender but the vanilla scent is not super strong so i like that because i'm not a big vanilla kind of scented candle anything at all but this one smells really good. This one was burning. And actually, it finished today. Duh. I should have mentioned that because I couldn't. It turned off after a little while. So that one's done too. All right. This eye cream here. This is from Ginseng. This is the Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. I felt that this was brightening for sure. I feel like it has little particles in there that makes it look very glowy under the eye. So I don't know if that was it. But I love this. This was super rich. Very moisturizing under the eyes. Even on my lids, I would put it. It was really, really nice. It worked really well for me during the winter. I didn't... I feel like it deep puffed, but it didn't. I, I don't suffer from puffy under eyes, so it's not. When I was puffy, I did, did feel like it helped a little bit, um, but it wasn't anything that I would really pay too much attention to because, again, I don't have puffy under eyes. Let's get into my haul here before this video becomes super, super long. I'll start off with the cotton ovals. These are from Target. I thought I would give these a try. They look as, almost as large as the other ones. I think the ones from CVS are a little bit bigger, but these are the cotton ovals and they come in 50 count. I think they were like $1.60 each. So I bought three of these. I thought I would try these out um, and see how they if they measure up to the ones from CVS. I have this mascara, which is already in use. This is the Lash Sensational Curvitude. Again, I bought it because I love it so much. I need to go back and get the one from, from L'Oreal because I love that one too. But this is, this is awesome. I highly recommend it. I get the one in black. I think it's black as black. The cleansing oil that I bought to replace the Tatcha one. This is the Tata Harper Nourishing Oil nourishing oil cleanser multivitamin cleansing treatment this also feels very lush on the skin it feels really good i also leave it on for a couple of minutes so again i'll use this at night especially on a makeup day i'll use the clinique cleansing balm first and then i'll go in with something like this to to do my second cleanse and in the mornings i'll only use this in the, you know just one pump of this it, this feels really nice in the skin i do though feel like i have to be careful with this around my eye area because this is irritating to my eyes to where this one was not this was extremely extremely gentle the other issue that i have with this guy is that it pumps out way too much oil than what i need so i have to be careful when i'm pumping and trying to do like a half a pump and even that spits out a little bit too much so it's the only issue i have but the product itself has been amazing i bought this masquerade palette from juvia's place this is the masquerade mini and i got this one at ulta 
that guy right there because I wanted to play with a little bit more color. So I'm looking forward to trying that guy out. So this adds on to my palette inventory plus one because I recently got this guy. I think in that video I also mentioned that I wanted to get a couple more from them. So I ended up picking one of these. I did pick up two uh, liquid liners or glitter liners, I guess you can say. This one's from Urban Decay. This one is called Cat Call. And I got these mainly, not so much to do a, um, I guess, glittery liner, but more to put it over top of shadow. So this is Cat Call from Urban Decay. This guy right here, the base is very translucent, which I really do like. And this one has some pink and silver glitters. I don't even know if you guys can see that. And this guy is from Too Faced. This is the peel off eyeliner. I tried this on my hand. I don't feel like it peels off. It kind of comes off in chunks. So, okay. Um, but this one's more champagne. This one has more pink and like a peachy champagne gold. Really pretty. Also, I also used the or pulled bought this to put over top of shadows just to blend them out a little bit more. I bought this guy right here which is from New Lash. This is the Lash Enhancing Serum. I've mentioned before I've been using a lash serum for gosh now I want to say it's a good been a good five to six months and that one's from Lilash which is I still have a little bit left but before I ran out I thought I would get another lash serum. This guy is I found this on at Nordstrom so I can't wait to put this or start using this guy. The one from Lilash, I do want to do a review before I run out or before I start using this guy just so, to show you guys what it's done to my lashes so far because it's freaking amazing. All right, let me get into the, the polishes that I bought here. A top coat that I recently bought is from Sally Hansen. This is the Advanced Hardness Nail Strengthening Top Coat. Don't know if it strengthens to be honest with you, but... I've been using it. It works really well. It has a very thin formula. I bought this one because I've been having a hard time finding the one in the red bottle. It's always sold out, man. Every single time for the last three months it's been sold out. So anyways, I ended up picking this guy out. I like that the formulation is thinner. I got four polishes from OPI, clearly, you know, spring, summer kind of colors. This guy here is called Chopsticks and Stones. Which reminds me of Frostbite from China Glaze. That's really pretty. This guy is called My Chihuahua Bites. And I bought it because of my chihuahuas. Because they're so cute. That one right there. This one's a red, but it's very pink liney. Let me compare it to this guy here. Brings out more of the pink in this guy. This one here is called a Thrill of Brazil. And lastly, I picked up this guy from the, I think it's called the Tokyo Collection. This one is called Temp Tempura, Temperature, <laughs> Temperature is Rising, which is a coral. So let me show you guys the three that I got. Look at how pretty these colors are. It's going to be awesome for, for summer. And lastly, I have Zoya's Astrid. This is one that I wanted to pick up. I know there's another one that I'd seen in Zenora's video that looked really pretty. I want to say it was a teal one, but I knew I wanted to get this one for sure. So when I went into Planet Beauty, which is a beauty store around here, I ended up picking this guy up, which I already did swatch and post it on my Instagram. And this is freaking awesome. This one took three coats. If I can pop the picture up on the screen, I'll go ahead and share that with you guys. So that is everything I did get. Oh no, I forgot. I got a NARS brush. This guy here. I have one more NARS brush, um, where is it, and I love it, I adore this brush. This guy here, which is the number, got these little numbers, number 44, I've had this one for a while now, it's like a, almost like a pencil brush, but a fatter version of a pencil brush, I want to say, because it is bigger, and it does an awesome job on the outer V or in the lower lash here. This this one here though is the number 42 it's a blending brush kind of like one of these right here so i can't wait to use that guy i haven't used it yet and what i like sometimes when i order from nordstrom is that they always always send good sample sizes always without a doubt i think i have a couple of these guys here from mario badescu from them i want to say i have a couple of these a uh, soy fit face cleansers from fresh and then um some this is the broad spectrum spf 
What is this? You, mission Perfection? I don't know what this is. Target Start Circles Instant Eye Illuminator. Okay. And then I got a mascara from them. It's the MAC. What is this called? The Extreme Dimensions Black Mascara. And a couple other samples and stuff like that. So, anyways, I will share that with you guys, but... All right, that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I seem off in this video, but I'm just, I'm feeling a little, like my head feels super freaking heavy right now. It feels heavy and like I'm, I'm feeling a little sleepy, so I think I may take a little bit of a nap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.